Welcome to the video series on Research Methods and Analysis by Data and Research. In this video, we will discuss the background of regression. Also, we will try to do simple linear regression using the open source software Jamo V. Jim and Nim were friends. On a beautiful evening, Jim and Nim were on a chit chat. When there was a pause in between, Nim got down from the rock and said, It may rain tonight. Is it? Kim exclaimed. How could you anticipate that? Nim answered, There are dark clouds rising from the northwest sky. Do you remember? We were playing in the rain on this day last year. It was fun to play in the rain. Talking like that, they walked away. Actually, Nim did a regression here. She predicted the future based on the data on the past. Two essential elements that may predict rain are season and clouds. Here rain is the dependent variable. Clouds and season are independent variables. However, we cannot use regression as a hypothesis test if we do not have values from a measurement. I shall represent the dependent variable with an alphabet Y and independent variable with X. For the easiness of understanding, I will use only one independent variable for some time. Consider this graph. The X axis will be for the independent variable in a graph and Y axis will be for the dependent variable. In regression, we assume that the relationship between X and Y can be represented with a line like this. In other words, we assume that the relationship between X and Y is linear. Hereafter, I will call this red line as the slope. Now, let X be the experience and Y be the salary. We know that when experience increases, salary also increases. Imagine that we have data that has already been collected from a sample. In the data, the range of experience of the participants was from 1 year to 8 years and the range of salary was from Indian rupee 10,000 to 40,000. We know that we will get remuneration when we are in a job even if there is no experience. In this scenario, even if X is 0, the employee may get Indian rupee 10,000. However, we don't have a person in our sample who has no experience. I shall call this position where the slope coincides with the y-axis as constant. I am representing the constant with B0. Now we have a participant with one year of experience who earns 17,000 per month. We have another participant with three years of experience who earns 35,000 a month. Likewise, when I plotted all the participants in the graph, they lay scattered like this. Surprise! All the participants stay around the slope. When we do regression, we will first draw a slope like this using the data we received. After that, we will check if all the scores in the data are staying around the slope. If all the data scores are spread around the slope, we can assume that there is homoscedasticity. The regression coefficient that shows the strength of the relationship between the independent and dependent variables is realized based on this slope. If the slope is like this, we have to say there is no relationship. If the slope is like this, there is a negative relationship. I shall call the coefficient which indicates the slope as beta and it will be represented as B1. I am taking all the representing alphabets and making it a formula. This is the formula that we may use to analyze if X is a predictor of Y. Going back to the graph and the slope. According to the prediction by the slope, an employee who had 5 years of experience will earn 30,000. But one of our participants who has 5 years of experience earns 40,000. This difference between the real value and the predicted value is called error or residual. We can see a lot of errors or residuals here. 
In regression, we assume that these errors should be independent of each other or not influence each other. We call this assumption the independence of errors. Also, we assume that these residuals are normally distributed. Technically, we assume that any linear combination of the variables is also normal in its distribution. We call this assumption multivariate normality. If this is the formula for simple linear regression, this is the formula for multiple linear regression or regression with more than one variable. In multiple linear regression, we assume that the independent variables are not correlated beyond a limit. Even if there is a correlation, it will be weak. These are the assumptions of regression. If these assumptions are not met, there are chances of flaw in the prediction. We will use simple linear regression to test a null hypothesis like there is no significant relationship between variable A and variable B. And the alternative may be variable A is a significant predictor of variable B. Now we will try testing a null hypothesis. There is no significant relationship between self-esteem and resilience. The alternative is self-esteem is a significant predictor of resilience. We will use Jamovi to test the hypothesis. You can download Jamovi from the website of Jamovi. It is an open source software. Here we have fictitious data of resilience and self-esteem. To do a simple linear regression, we will click on the drop down menu regression and then choose linear regression. In the new window, we have spaces to navigate our independent and dependent variables. We will get the output on the right. We are shifting resilience to the column of the dependent variable and self-esteem to the column for covariates. We can see the results getting modified on the right. Here we will check the assumption independence of errors by checking the option autocorrelation. We check if residuals are normally distributed with the help of QQ plots. Here is the QQ plot. Almost the residuals are positioned fine. Technically, we used to call the output of regression analysis as a model. Here we can check the model fitness. We will use the fit measures R, R square and to test overall model fitness, we will choose F. Among these, R is the correlation between the observed and the predicted values of dependent variable. R square is a proportion of variance in the dependent variable which can be predicted from the independent variables. F answers the question, do the independent variables reliably predict the dependent variable? If the p-value of F is lesser than 0.05, we can conclude that the independent variables reliably predict the dependent variable. Here is the model coefficient, the most important component of the results. We have to check standardized estimates. The importance of standardized estimates I will explain while discussing the results. Now that's it. We will look into the results now. From the results section, I am copying the table on model coefficients. We plan to find out if self-esteem is a significant predictor of resilience. And this is the table we copied from Jamovi output. In the table, we can see a column about predictors. We can see two predictors here. Among these, the intercept is this the constant which shows the dependent variable's position in the absence of the independent variable. In the formula, this is B0. The value of B0 is 6.852. This is the coefficient of the slope or regression coefficient. In the formula, this is B1. There is a problem with this regression coefficient. If there are two independent variables with different levels of measurement, we will not be able to compare them based on this. We need a standardized coefficient to compare. Remember, we chose the option for standardized coefficient while we are doing the analysis. This is the standardized coefficient, which I will call beta. And this is p. If p is lesser than 0 0.05, we can say that the independent variable is a significant predictor of the dependent variable. To understand if P is significant or not, we are using T-score. Here, self-esteem is a significant predictor of resilience. X represents the scores of self-esteem. But before rejecting the null hypothesis, 
we must look at some more details of the result. Shifting this table to an Excel sheet, from this result, I will show only these information in my final table. All the rest I am removing. Going back to the output view, I am copying the model fit measures to the Excel sheet. Adding the information of R square and F and its speed to the previously modified content. Moving back to the output view, I am copying the assumption checks also to the Excel sheet. We can see autocorrelation coefficient, Durbin-Watson and its P here. It is better to have a Durbin-Watson between 2 and 4. Here it is 1.71. However, looking at P, the autocorrelation is not significant. So we are proceeding with this regression, assuming that there is no autocorrelation. I am copying the table we have already created. Changing beta to its symbol the capital R of the R square to small r. Below the table indicating that dependent variable is resilience. I will interpret the table now. Regression analysis indicated that self-esteem is a significant predictor of resilience. Beta equals 0.76, comma p is less than 0.01. Coefficient of determination R square equals 0.58 showed that variation of self-esteem can explain 57% variation in resilience. The model is adequately fit. F equals 120, P is less than 0.01. Congratulations! We now learned how to do simple linear regression. If you have any questions, suggestions or recommendations, please write to dnr365 at gmail.com.